Good afternoon. Uh, I wanted to share with you more footage from the workshop. Uh, I had some extra footage of repotting a fine leaf ficus. Uh, I didn't want to cram it all into one video and I didn't want to kind of jump over all over the place in the videos. So uh, this video is kind of an extension of last week's video of the workshop. So I hope you enjoy this. So here is a fine leaf ficus that I also got at the show in May. Um, we're going to repot this one today. As you can see, it's a little bit pot bound. Um, and the roots are circling the pot. And so we want to get this in. I think I'm going to keep it in the same pot, just reduce the roots and everything. And with these tropical trees like the ficus, uh, you can repot these in the summer. Uh, and it should, they should do okay, uh, but we'll find out. Um, but this is one of the trees that we're gonna kind of work on today. As I pull the tree out of the pot, I start trying to separate the roots with a chopstick and realize that I needed to switch to a metal tool because of how compacted these roots were in the pot. These like to be um, root bound. Yeah, I, that's been my experience. So okay. I usually just let them go as long as I can. Yeah, because um, they make they usually start to make more aerial roots in my situation. I, I think it's because I have a lot of sun. Yeah, um, and this this because so, I've often heard if you do like put them in more shade, they get more aerial roots. <laughs> so my my aerial roots usually come in the fall. can to make it really big. Yeah. Well I think I think if you can I think we'll probably be able to keep this one. Yeah definitely. But, but this one right That's here what I'm thinking it's gonna have to get sliced. And you can plant these if you want more trees. Okay. Yeah I'll definitely do that. They're really soft. Yeah. Yeah. So plant this. And just plant it up to here and have this exposed, and then you can make it a cascade. Because this will be the trunk in the future. Ah. Definitely save those. Okay. So we just want to get it flat as possible. So. I think this is probably gonna be your front. Yeah. I like this. I like that. You know that better. Yeah. We can keep this one for now. So this is the thing. I'm just gonna get rid of the whole thing. Is that okay? That's okay. Yeah. It's gonna love it.
So you would you would plant it and just have kind of that. Yep. That would grow. Yep. So you just need to make sure to do the right side. So um, let's see. You just cut it the, from there. The, Fat end. The, let's see. It was like this. So the the foliage will come out from this side. Okay. So put it like that in the ground. Like that. Yep. And on these, the thickest end is where the foliage is. So put it yeah. in the ground like that. Okay. Weird. And now we're just wanting it to be flat. Is that kind of true of all ficus? Is it the root from? Yeah, all ficus will do that. Mm -hmm. oh my goodness. You're going to have a lot of ficus. And now I'm just trying to get. Um, they're very um, stringy, so they're kind of hard to do. Now it's flat enough where it will be okay. I would dump this in some water just to make sure to get, you know, so we can be able to see all this. Okay. As we add soil to the pot, we use a chopstick to work the soil into the pot to make sure that there are no air pockets under or around the tree. Now that we have the tree back in the pot, and since we did such a hard prune, we're going to need to pretty much defoliate the tree, only leaving the new leaf buds. By doing this, we are rebalancing the energy in the tree so that it does not go through the shock of the repotting. <laughs> 